Well, there's your problem. This is pretty common with laser booms. The uh, boom corrodes around the rivet hole, stainless rivet and an aluminum uh, boom. It'll salt water, you got a battery. And this uh, front eye strap doesn't look like it's in such good shape either. We're going to take care of that as well. Now what you want to use here is a good titanium nitride drill bit because these rivets are stainless steel. You can wiggle the drill a little bit because what you want to do is pop the head off. And what, you, what we're going to do here is drill this rivet out of the eye strap and then we'll give it a little straightening out. Next step is to drill the uh, aft rivet and the outhole eye strap. This will also release the boom end plug. Now if you're careful, you can work this boom end, end plug out slowly with a screwdriver. Work slow and you won't break the flange off. This one had a little silicone holding it in as well, so uh, gave it a little bit, of a, little bit of resistance, but it'll come out if you work slowly. Now we'll turn our attention to the mid boom block. Get that thing out of here. Now we'll just use a pin punch to knock in those rivet tails. And as you can see, quite a lot of corrosion in these holes too. This thing is ready to pull out. Now here's the secret to getting to those forward holes. I'm going to take a number 10 bolt with the head cut off. And I got some Dacron sail thread here. Good button thread might work too, but uh, Dacron thread is good to have around if you have sailboats. So up, so up your rip sails. And it's very, very strong. Tie that off in a knot, and then you can uh, put a little tape over it just to make it a little smoother. Now what we're going to do here, drop that uh, piece of bolt down in the hull, and then uh, we're going to tilt the boom, shake it a little bit, feed in the thread, and try to get that thing out the bottom. At the same time, make sure you pop all those rivet tails out the end of the boom. There's that little weight out the end of the boom. Now we're going to use a new number 10 stainless bolt and a stainless fender washer. This thing's about an inch around. I'm going to use a little piece of duct tape as a gasket where the fender washer is going to sit against the boom. Just try to soften the corrosion a little bit. Although by the time that fender washer corrodes through the boom, it'll be too old to sail a laser anyway. Okay, now the thread that's in the boom, we tie that to the new bolt, and now we're going to pull it up through and try to sneak it back up through that hole. I worked the front hole first. A little bit of jiggling, and there it is. I'm going to put a nut on this so it doesn't fall through. Ah, I forgot to put the camera on, but after I snuck the other one through, I uh, put a little automotive silicone over the corroded parts. Uh, automotive silicone uh, doesn't have acetic acid, so it's non-corrosive. Now, we grab the bolt on the threads lightly so we don't bugger them up, and start tightening that, uh, that nut down. Now to snug it down, you can clamp a vice grip on those threads and work it down with an end wrench. 
uh, don't worry about messing up the threads that long end is going to get cut off after we get everything snugged down good by the way I've seen some people drill through the top of the boom and then just put very long bolts through that's a bad idea unless you put bushings in between the two walls because it uh, works then to try to collapse the upper wall of the boom so um, do it this way it preserves the original design the original engineering and it puts all that load all that pulling load just on the bottom wall of the boom Now that everything's good and tight, we can use a hacksaw to take off the, uh, the balance of the bolt. Don't use an abrasive wheel, you'll, uh, you'll cook the nylon right out of the stop nut. And be sure to file it nice and smooth. This doesn't take long with a good sharp file, but you don't want to be snagging your sheets on that. I sent an email to the owner, told her I messed up her boom but I substituted a dowel for it. She didn't buy it. Now the bolts for the end eye strap are much easier because you can reach them without passing the thread through. Once again I'm using one inch fender washers under the bolt heads. By the way, when you tighten the nuts down that will bend the fender washers into shape. You don't have to pre-shape them. And again, here's that silicone I was talking about before. Automotive silicone, just make a little bit of a barrier. And I don't use Tef gel here because this thing's not going to move. And I'm just going to brush it out with an acid brush. Of course, don't forget to put the block on the eye strap before you bolt it all down. Same process. Start the nuts on, hold the bolts, then you can clamp off the outside of the bolt and uh, sock it down all the way and then saw off the bolt ends. Don't forget to file those bolt ends. Now don't try to line up the uh, old hole in the boom end cap. Um, just put it onto a fresh area, drill a pilot hole, and then we're going to fill that in with a self-tapping screw. Now if you don't think the self-tapping screw in the plastic is strong enough, uh, look, at your, look at the outer holes on your fair leads on your traveler. The traveler is under a lot more force and that's threaded into plastic as well. So this will hold just fine. And there it is, the finished product. If all your tools are on hand, you should be able to get this done in about an hour.